that out light, build the color up. Stocking it up and go over it the next time. Don't make it don't make it too wet. You can always go back to it later and darken it up.
there you fog over the color that you have already there. You don't want to go too dark there, but you want to darken the blue up just there. So you just fog lightly. Fading two colors to make another color. The color's already there, but you fade on top of it. You get another variation of blue. At least that's how I do it. use a shield here if you want but it's going to be dark brown in there anyway or a burnt sienna with a little blue in it to give you the dark brown that you want and to save time I'm not going to pick up the shield at the moment Probably gonna use a darker blue later with a little touch of purple and black in there to get the deepest, deepest blue tones I'm gonna show in there. Thanks, so I get tip dry. So I'm constantly pitching the pinching the needle. My fingers like that to clear it. Some people use toothbrushes and Q tips. Probably why I always let my fingernails grow. They're just to pinch, pinch the needle. Thank you. 
cover color the pencil line with the dark color I'm using and I fog around that. Give the illusion that it's fading into the rest of the uniform. Trusty Metro Card Shield. Spray on the card and go out. From it. And I'll go perpendicular and horizontal to the card. Depending on the line. Or the look I'm trying to achieve. Thank you. 
Excuse me. Somebody got some happy ass feet upstairs. out the way, out the view anyway. Thank <laughs> you. 
see that with from, from here with this camera but I hit here a little bit too heavy and I don't like that but I gotta let it dry before I go back in there Definitely have to have patience with this uh, surface. lately. In the lighter areas of the booboo. And it's usually good after that. Spray off the card to where you want to go. Thank you. 
Ah, a little too wet there too. Get back to that one. I'm gonna get up in here under the arm. Excuse my big head. Take some reducer and see if I can get some of that dried up paint off of it. I got a rag in my lap that I'm wiping the paint off on. in the darker blue in there. It's deep blue with some purple and a touch of black. Oh, to give me the color I'm looking for under the arm there. On top of this blue that I'm dropping down. Thank you. 
I'm going to have to clean that up again with flesh on the skin tone because I got some blue on there. I'll fix that later on. You should do this on a metal board behind it so you could cut out a little piece of shield paper and stick it on there with magnets, but it's not in my budget right now, so this is what it is. Probably going to do this in two parts because it's getting close to dinner time and I wasn't feeling so hot earlier. Still not, but. Trying to dedicate more time to, into this channel. Build it up. So, just gotta deal with the pain, man. Definitely got to make sure I clean this brush out tonight. I'm going to stop here because that's a little over 45 minutes. And continue in the next part. I'll probably keep painting and make it two uploads instead of one because attention spans don't really last that long anymore nowadays. And 
see if I can back it up a little bit. Tell this light so you can see where I'm at. Give you an idea what it looked like. Still a long way to go. Well, for now, I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to keep painting into the next video. And I'll post it the day after I do this one. Peace.